Hey there, everyone. The sub cowling VLDCX and EV plus Caterpie equals the Death Star. Caterpie with a K, though. I yeah, nothing. Uh, a little bit curious. Know what I'm gonna ignore? But it looks like it's gonna be nothing. Feeling okay. Nothing here. Oop. Oh yeah, I can't even press a button to check it out. All right, that Death Star. Here we go. <laughs> All right, this is Death Star, moon-sized space station, is capable of littering entire planets. How'd you get in here, Mario? How'd you get inside the actual Death Star? That's a sweet Sumar World sound font Imperial March going on here. Oh wait, I wonder if it's supposed to imitate the like the Star Wars Super Nintendo games. Yeah, because I played uh, Empire Strikes Back game of that, and I think it was using the sound fonts. Oh man, oh whoops, got caught in the corner there. Alright, gotta hurry up. We got, you know, the Star Wars jumping statue action figure. It's a Wampa. Just golden with horns. Well, the Wampa had little horns, like little ram horns. That was probably very useful. All right, what am I looking at here? So here we do this, which gives us this, which has got this, which gives us up here, which gives us other things, maybe. I don't know, it's gonna blow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. All right, so, whoa, there we go. I want that mushroom. I want to blow up like a Toys R Us kid. Oh man, that's the worst fate you can hope for. All right, so you do that, and then you do a jump. It's like, whoa, it's a fire. There's so many doors in the death bars. I'm gonna take this one. So I wonder, like, ooh, they split like. So this is a two off the level, right? And I feel like you can tell a little bit that the style of the level has changed a lot. All right, so like, this is fun. Or not? Oh, there we go. Just need to be kind of precise. All right, so my goal might be to find a P switch to be able to go here, maybe. It's subtle though. Yeah, this is a has a very different feeling. Um, I don't know what the ground situation is here down here. All right, all right, do that. Otobo escape function sixty three. That destroyed something. No, I. So I was trying to go up the stairs into the land there, but as you can see, he he didn't do. Whoa, what am I doing? Okay. I'm curious if this is a reset door or what. Let's try it out. Get a life. Rude. Oh, whoops, I missed time. You're probably supposed to hit all these. Uh, I didn't get a life. Sorry. Oh, and then it pops through over here. All right, which is less dangerous as a door because it doesn't have a hop and flame. Fantastic. Did it solve the game? So there's just a floor here. Now that I know. Alright, so yeah, here be careful. I'll oh, see do that. See, 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 look, see, there's well there there wasn't, because I think I was going fast enough, but yeah, there's like a little like hesitation that happens when you go from uh, stairs to floor something you have to take into consideration in your day-to-day -day concerns. Alright, here's my plan of just leaving the block there forever. Pretty good plan. Boy. Uh, Alright, so please crash down. And just... How am I gonna do this? I guess that's gonna work. Yeah, okay, it worked alright. Here I can just pop on this guy. I can just get this guy out of my face. Oh, also there were ledges created by pressing the switch. Hey man, I didn't know. Yeah, revitalization chamber. That's lore from the Star Wars. Uh, uh, we'll check it out. Did they have like healing tanks and Star Island? Wait, plot. It looks like there's no way out, but through the trash compactor. That's right, we're just Star Wars, man. We're gonna go and trash some pack. Here we go. Oh jeez. Uh. I just hide here? Okay, it is being pretty nice. So the sluice is where things don't get all mushed up. That's cool, but then we got trash monsters kind of living in the sluice and a fish. 
The Sluice Fish. It's my favorite Star Wars character, especially in the expanded universe. Oh, that fish just fell on me. What a good guy. I'm gonna double my fireballs because of that. Blar, whoa, potable fish, everything. Yeah, I'm not afraid of getting mushed. I can go in the water all day long. I cover my nose and bop my toes. So, yeah, that was a. I lost my mushroom. I lost my flower. I lost everything. I'm now just a simple man. But I'm Mario. I'm used to sewers. Even if it is space sewage, it don't matter to me. I see a pipe, I go in it. That's right. I see a skeleton, I bop it. It's just, you know, it's, it's just usual plumbery things. Here we go. Do that. Oh man, look at this space console. Oh, I think I'm boarding like a ship, like an escape ship. I'm gonna get out of here. The flavor is honestly pretty good. I like what you two did. It's really silly, but in kind of the best way. I'm very happy I got to experience this. Uh, a lot of it was the music. I mean, the rest was like, you know, like a gray, like, castle thing. You bop a little bit. Weirdly designed around the P switch, go get and back, which, alright, you know, that's kind of Star Wars. Hot Dog Aerials by Roy Curbs. Hey, there's a name that's gonna recognize itself as a name. Sorry if I might not touch Secret Exit. It's just, oh geez, what a place. Okay, one, two, okay, one X for each exit. We got this music, we got Richard being real happy, and we're somewhere in Rice Krispies. Yeah, this is a pretty abstract place indeed. That's why you do that, and you end up somewhere that you don't understand. Everything is weird and red, it's very harsh. Alright, well, here we go. H. Oh, it's all hot dogs. Now I get it. Kinda. Like, a hot dog aerial is something. Like, it's a term. I know this because there's a arcade schmuck, like, from, like, a while back, that has hot dog in a name, but, like, it's not a comedy schmuck. Oh, oh God, God. Oof. there we go. That's some really old hot dog. All that's left is the nerve ending that's inside the hot dog. There's kind of, like, the bun. Yeah, check it. Bouncing along. Singing a song. Oh, if I was big, I could get down here. This something I wanna do. Well, I'm a bit curious, so if I remember, I might check it out. I don't know. This is the advantage of please. Please? Yeah, you can't go. Eh, 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 please. All right. Well, you're welcome. All right. So we're gonna go inside this pipe. You're gonna leave me somewhere else. Check it out. We're now vertical. Okay, there's writing up there. Don't want read. Remember. Remember, remember, remember the sandwich. Got it. Okay. Diagon. Oh, all day. Oh, what's going on? Do you? Yeah, there we go. That's real weird. Please remember. Just keep asking for people to remember things. It's not gonna happen if you're too insistent. All right, check that. Oh, that is super cool. And they get caught in the little hanger things. That is so rad, I can't- Okay, you do go in a giant pipe. Alright, midpoint. Here we are. In a world of delight. Some definition of it. Oh, it's here. Question mark. Question mark? Okay, well. There's that. Please. No, no. That seems like a dangerous to do to get. Alright, check it out. We're gonna hang our crates on hot dogs. What else are you going to use hot dogs for? Find a pile of hot dogs in the forest. What do you do? What does your roleplay character do in that situation? Don't you know? Just tell me if he's a wizard or a barbarian or a question mark. You know, everyone's got a question. It's important to keep your brain in place. Every time there's a question mark, it means there's a puzzle somewhere, and I just kind of ignore it. Alright, look, I saw that arrow on the musical staff. It's time to play the hot dog song. Oh boy, I cannot bop that switch. It is covered with a block. Now I'm just riding the string. 
until the end of time. Yeah, you need to press that switch so that that rope will continue down the question land. Everyone is curious about my plan. It's just to jump and totally miss the bar. Hot dog aerial, sure, why not? Yeah, I want to check out that thing where you need to be big and then you bop and then you slide and maybe something happens. Yeah, giant check mark. <laughs> yes. Oh, right, those are 1FO. Whoops. Right, now I'm big so I can do this. And slide and enter a fight I don't understand. I have to remember, man. Sliding down a place I don't understand. Everything is kind of opaque, but that's okay. Don't know where I'm at, don't know where I wanna be, don't know where I'm at at all. I'm just gonna keep on hampering on that weird hot dog dimension. Not where anyone should espouse to be, but don't always decide where you end up being. It's all about making the best of a terrible situation. Go on a crate station. That's not a real thing. Always remember. Oh, is that just another way here? I think I'm back in time. Yeah, that was an alternate reality, and you need to get through here to get the secret exit, I guess. Not a secret exit, but the... All the... the... the switches, please. Okay. Like, the only other thing I can think of is you need to hit that switch we saw, but, like, it was covered by a block, so there's a switch somewhere but like where you know I feel like it can be anywhere uh, please it says please down there can I go here through this no I can't I'm gonna put a safe state here it says please out there please always remember this platform wasn't here before I think the world has changed. When that when that one up popped up, I think we are in. Oh shoot! This is. <laughs> There's a pipe down there that I don't think was there before. Right here, down here. Whoa! That hot dog looks like intestines. Uh, I missed that one up. But I can go here now. Mysterious pipe in the mysterious place. Richard is happy. Well, I made contact with Richard. <laughs> so if I do that, yeah, I completely destroy its momentum. And I can get in here safely. And I can enjoy Richard's jumping around. Yeah, I did it. Richard, you jumped around. Oh boy, now we're on the Richard rope. We don't want to think about that too much. Alright, gotta stay up, gotta get down, got hit anyways, I didn't move fast enough. Oh, why, I, I... This one feels real bad. But it's interesting? Anyways. Interesting, but bad. Oh, check it out, I'm now here. Now I need to, no, I need, I know I need to go all the way up. So I think just, just, just stay here. Like, it's, that's what it means, but at a time, at the initial impression, yeah, you get all these weird extra paths that exist seemingly for Dagadons. So, yeah, this is still covered up, so I still can't bop it. I haven't found the P-switch for it. So I won't be able to cross over here. See, I don't know how much I'm willing to try here. Like, is it something that gets revealed if you get all the Dagadon? Like, it's possible. But like I said, I don't know how much. Like, normally I just kind of move on. I did a few extra things. Oh, but like, you know, the color of a tile is one thing, but here I feel like the map is taunting me. So here we get a big smiley face. Now I got the one up pop up.
I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna get the last Agadon. So, I feel like something might happen. I can't go back. Like, we'll see if that does anything around, like, the question marks and stuff. So I still don't have a P-Switch. That's still covered. There it is. There's the P-Switch. So you don't go in secret pipe. You go in like the normal path. And I guess, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to get there. I just decided to press it now. Felt like a good idea. And it was. So there you go. Yeah, so yeah, don't return in the bonus rooms if you want to see that exit. The path is a lot shorter and you're gonna miss out on the P-Switch you've unlocked. That's why there's a question right here. Now we get to go on a rope ride. Oh, this is a really sad hot dog here. We are entering the sad zone. The common zone for all hot dog fans. Sweet, fantastic, I love it. <sighs> I'm... Yeah. Take two. You got a Yoshi. This time he did do his weird sound. Alright, so you gotta be careful about which one you eat. Got it. Gotta eat my hot dog flavored... Flavored Richards. I don't know. I don't like how any of that sounded. But you get to bounce on it and then you can eat it behind you. This is an old branded hot dog for you. Bounce! You don't need. You could have just done that jump. I guess I gotta get rid of my horse. It was a good time I had, but we gotta move on to the scary zone. Please remember that when you feel scared, fright, never forget times when you feel happy. I'm gonna be the boss of that, friendo. <laughs> oh, well, this took a turn. Well, hey, um, I mean, you should be pretty happy in heaven, right? By definition? I think that means I did a good, right? Strictly speaking? Death becomes real weird if heaven becomes a real thing. Man, Exit 2 is a lot easier to get than Exit 1. Like, so, like, I'm glad I got that little scene. I don't know how I feel about going all over level all the time. Mixed feelings, but I feel like, like, yeah, like, I like what I got at the end there. I just wish instead it was part of the main game. Like, you know? Anyways, this happened today.